out of respect. Justice Mukhoeng uh, Mukhoeng uh, of uh, South Africa's Constitutional Court. My name is Goodman Manya Piri. I've taken this uh, opportunity to use an unconventional way uh, to approach um, your justice through this video. Because there's a gentleman uh, here in South Africa by the name of Mr. Jacob Kelechi Zazuma who has closed all avenues for me um, for approaching the court. If everything goes according to the plans of Mr. Jacob Zuma, I'm going to end up in prison. I'm ready for prison. I'm going to end up dead. I'm ready for death. But I would, I'm not ready for my story to remain untold. So this video is about my struggle against uh, tribalism in South Africa and I'm going to name the tribalism I'm talking about and it's also about my court cases which are easy, they are actually a walk in the park. For me, my case is strong but I cannot prosecute my cases because as a civil servant, which I am, Mr. Jacob Zuma is denying me what is my right to have uh, financial assistance from the state in terms of prosecuting my case, the Supreme Court. But a number of cases now that are at the Supreme Court, um, as well as uh, the court of the department where I work, I may not mention the department because there's an order of Jackie Webster as of March 2011, that uh, Mr. Zuma's minister, per order of Mr. Zuma, you know, acquired from um, Jackie Webster, that I may not talk about the department, but it doesn't order. The order relates to that I may not talk about that department, so I'm not talking about it. What I'm grateful for, Justice Mukhuing, is that that order did not take away my right or my, my freedom of uh, expression. I just want to quickly, before I talk about the roots of tribalism in South Africa, to quickly talk about the cases that are actually, you know, uh, you know, if you like, uh, Biting me in terms of the way Mr. Jacob Zuma is unfairly disadvantaging me in favor of prostitution in South Africa. There's a woman who is related to, or she claims to be related to Miss Nelson Mandela, who prostituted herself in the year 2000 in order to become, you know, one of the generals in the security department uh, departments of South Africa. Her name is Ndobizola Bobby Luzini. You know, she slept with a lecturer at a college went by the name of Mr. Raymond Atlang Linz. So there was corruption that went on there. There was a... Fr a English is not my language, whether it's fracas or fracas, but there was a fracas on the college and uh, between blacks and whites because uh, all the people from the Eastern Cape where Bobelozin and Mandela come from were defensive of the lady and all those people were, were so-called black. And the so-called white people were saying, no, it does not have to work in the security department. But I happened to be the whistleblower to stand up and say, here's the cause of the racial conflict of the college. That is why Mr. Zuma is victimizing me today. He believes that uh, it would seem that a relative of Mr. Mandela or maybe his own relatives as Mr. Zuma may not be touched. They are above the law. So I'm appealing to you, Justin Mukwen, assist me if you can. If you cannot, please stand back. I am a former freedom fighter. I, mean, I still view myself as one. I'm ready to die for my country. You may not be in the same league in terms of your commitment to South Africa. So I will forgive you. But this is an appeal to uh, your justice to assist me. Because one of these good days I'll be in jail and there I'll be poisoned to death so that I shut up about, you know, Eastern Cape regionalism and uh, tribalism that was authored. Uh, principally by Mr. Nelson Holy Tata Mandela, the mentor to Mr. Jacob Zuma. I'm not there now, I just want to quickly uh, explain how I ended up here. So in the year 2000, December-ish, what happened is that there was this corruption between this man and woman, you know, who were uh, committing adultery for the purpose of uh, bringing a, a junior person uh, to become a general in a security department. I may not, as per uh, Judge Webster's order mention which department, but by then, uh, Mr. Um, Tabombegi was the president of South Africa. So, that is December. Uh, as of 2001, uh, February the 6th, the matters had come to head in the college. Black and white were fighting because of this corruption that uh, uh, self confessed or self professed uh, Mandela family, Dom Zora Bobelo. Um, it, it caused on the college, so so I stood up 
in a plenary. The hall was full, and I said, I can tell the inspector general um, for that particular department. I may not mention it, makes it difficult to tell a story with Judge Webster, you know, sitting like a monkey on my shoulder. <laughs> but I must respect the judge. judge South Africa is, 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 a, is, is a, a democracy. I must respect the judge. But I cannot talk what department it is. So I nonetheless stood up to say, I'm ready to tell the Inspector General. That's on the 6th of February, 2001. And um, um, then there was an inspector at the college sent by, uh, you know, <clears throat> um, head of department. I think that, nah, that's the wrong way. You know, something higher than a directorate that came uh, to inspect the fracas uh -huh, or fracas of the college, and I showed my preparedness on the 6th of February 2001. And then on the 6th of March, because the period, 6th of March marked a one month long period of investigation that was done in the college on, on the course of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the racial conflict at the college. Uh, I realized that, look, the inspector was not prepared to interview me, despite the fact that I came forward to point out Mandela's relative, Domizodo Abubeduzi. So I realized there was a problem. So I wrote a grievance about it because I realized that I was being, you know, opened up by the inspector, who, by the way, also came from the Eastern Cape, where all these guys come from. I was opened up for victimization. So I wrote a grievance to the president. Ah, Tabu, Mvielambegi comes also from, I don't know, Iducha or somewhere, but it's all in the Eastern Cape. He ignored my grievance, which is uh, really against, uh, you know, the law. A grievance, you cannot force a head of state to, you know, respond to, to a grievance. Um, uh, you know, in terms of the time you want him or her to respond. But for goodness, at some stage, a head of state of a democratic government must respond. So Mbege was kicked out by the NC because of tribalism, and he was kicked out, he never responded to my case. And I was grateful he was removed. And there came a man called Jacob Kelelele Zuma. I spent a lot of money, you know, SMSing to support him in all the crimes that he was supposed to have uh, committed. But now I regret, I should have just, you know, kept my few uh, rents. Because no sooner did Jacob Zuma come into power, I informed him of the corruption of my department. It's a security department. I may not mention because of Judge Webster, but Zuma just ignored it. I believe Mr. Zuma is now into the pocket of the people who are behind Eastern Cape regionalism in South Africa. They've put him in the pocket. And um, if I'm allowed to mention how that happened, the spy tapes, those spy tapes, I'm sorry to say, but I feel they're stupid tapes. Somebody is supposed to have committed a crime, they must go in front of a judge and answer for that. There's no spy tape to save him. Shabir Sheikh got his sentence. Why can't the man who was supposed to be bribed by Shabir Sheikh and not to tell a judge? Spy tapes? My fault! But Justice Mukwing, I'm not there. I just want to point out that I wrote my grievance then on March 6th to President uh, Mr. Tabumbeg and he ignored me. And then until Mr. Zuma came in, I updated Mr. Zuma because I thought he's the guy who's come to stop tribalism in South Africa. He's a Zulu. Ah, they come from Gazulu, Natal. Ah, the founder of the AZ comes from Gazulu, Natal. So I was believing that here is a chance now for South Africa to reconcile with uh, herself as a nation. Nothing doing. The next thing I discovered, the update was around uh, uh, September 2011. Correction, September 2010, I updated Mrs. Zuma about my case. I got the response. There's always a response from the unit building. I don't know why. We are attending to your matter. That's how Mr. Mr. Mbegi also was saying to me, we are attending to your matter. And the next thing, while we are waiting for them to attend, you hear the, 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 the lead case against you. They, they throw you into the Supreme Court. You must go to a high court and answer for this or that. So nonetheless, from 2001, uh, the came now until 20, 2008, where I decided now that no, my plea against tribalism in the department of, I nearly mentioned it, website will kill me, was too much. I started now to blog about uh, the issue of corruption. The blog was another issue. It was now stopped by uh, Mr. Zuma's uh, order uh, through the minister consent. Then they went in front of Judge Webster, 20... 2011 uh, March to say I may not talk about the department. 
all of that. But in terms of why I am now, you know, a great client of the courts, in, including the constitutional court where I went to knock, but I, I don't have money now to litigate uh, or rather to prosecute my case um, because Mr. Zuma is asphyxiating, he's holding my throat, denying me money, even though I'm a civil servant like he is. I'm a civil servant like Jack Sleep is. Uh, but uh, I was told by uh, a courier from, uh, or a messenger from Kwede Mantashe, who is the Secretary General of the ANC, that I need to be a member of the ANC first because, before they assist me. My fault! The ANC is my home! My first cousin started the ANC. There's no more, or there's no greater contributor to the ANC founding than Queen Mother Nabotibi. And despite what Zuma and Mandela tell the world that the ANC belongs to the Eastern Cape. Now, why must I become a member first? I didn't end up in the case I am because I was a member of the ANC. No, I ended up in this case because I was a civil servant of the Republic. So why must I first go here just because the ANC is ruling? I love the ANC. Nobody loves. Okay, maybe Zuma does, as he claims. But few people love the ANC more than I do. I love the NC, I love the PAC, I love the DA, I love democracy. But now I'm being victimized for that. So Kwete Mantashi, he can go where he likes, but I'm not gonna, you know, follow him and, and join the NC. I joined the NC or I was with the NC even before I was born. Kwete Mantashi is a newcomer, he cannot tell me anything. I don't care about this position. That's what the message I got from Kwete Piri, if we must assist him or the president, so must assist him, he must go via the NC. But nonetheless, to go a little bit back, 2001, June 6, I read the grievance. Directed, you know, there's a channel of grievances, but it was directed to the commander in chief of that security department I work for. And then three days later, I was charged. They brought a lot of lies against me to say, now look, um, I just don't need to mention what I'm talking here is not subjudicate. I'm just talking about the general report of the, of the, of the whole matter. They brought a charge that uh, there were about 11 uh, charges against me, blah, 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 including, you know, I'm 52 this year, uh, that I was AWOL, I dis disappeared from work. How can an old man like me, I'm gray already, how can I disappear from work? So they threw all those things. But then they made a mistake. Their chief, uh, you know, complainant said that uh, he was asked, when did this happen? He said, 6th February. They said, ah! Oh! But then you charge this guy 9 March, what for? He said because, you know, there were other investigations about him. So we wanted to, you know, to put everything together. So from that reason then, uh, which they gave in 2001, I had to go to Judge uh, Clarkson to the Supreme Court. I went to the Supreme Court, that is what you call the High Court. Uh, uh, Pretoria North, I went to Judge Clarkson. And Judge Clarkson found in my favor that I must get that report. If the report was about, but in fact, the report was about Nelson Holy Tatla Mandela's cousin and Tommy Zoda who was fornicating or committing adultery in order to, to become a, a, a general. And that's a good department. It was not about me. But because their chief, you know, uh, complainer was saying it, it was about me, I had to have it. So they are dilly dallying about it. Then in 2006, um, uh, in fact, Judge Clausen gave them six days or seven days. Uh, the minister uh, consented, didn't respond. And then he stayed uh, the minister for about, two, two, what? about three months without responding. Finally, and then the minister said, let's have an, uh, you know, a discussion. And then we discussed, okay, they said they don't have that report, but they are ready you know, to get an affidavit from the person who ordered the investigation into, into that uh, fornication or adultery college. So we agreed that, okay, we'll settle out of court. But then they some assaulted. They said no, because they were afraid if they gave me an affidavit of that guy, I was going to call him to court and I was going to, you know, pillory that guy through my, my lawyers. So the whole thing ended up, they were some assaulting. So they ended up now in 2006, they went to judge. Uh, instead of going to Clarkson, they played smart. They went to another judge and it was an acting judge, stole and they went there and they said, no, we have given Peter that report. And I, I stood against them and Justice totally found in my favor that I don't have the report. Uh, one of the allegations, maybe the chief allegation that they have against me, uh, is that I went um, as, as a supposed native African. I called a native um, European, South African, um, an F racist. I used the F word. And, 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 and it, it's ugly. So, but now when they went to see Tolles, Tolles threw them out and said, no, you haven't given him. So they went to a full bench 
in the year 20, that's now when Zuma came into power, or had come into power already. They went to a full bench that was led by Judge uh, Tachten. He is highly respected uh, with the Supreme Court, but um, with due respect, I have no respect for the judge. I think I think he used a lot of emotions in my case. Particularly the spokesperson or the man who was speaking for him was Jai Southwood in the full bench. He was talking a lot of, he said, my case, my case is just, you know, kindergarten stuff. He's got more serious cases or they as judges have got more serious stuff, you know, like bank robbery and a lot of other comments. I've blocked about such things, those comments. And I said I'm going to approach the president of uh, the judges in uh, Houting North to complain about that thing. I still need a chance. But the long short story, I think there's a problem. If I'm supposed to have uh, committed the chief offense, you know, calling names somebody who's of a European origin, which I didn't do, how on earth does the demographics of South Africa not reflect on the judges? All of those three judges were, if you like it, I don't like to call people white. Nobody's white around here. Nobody's black. We've got our own skin pigmentation, but we are not white or black. But they were all ethnic Europeans. Judge Tachten, European. Judge Southwood, European. There's another guy whose name he's like in the shadow of the full bench. Um, he's European. They found against me. So I didn't know then. That was in 20, uh, the year 2010. 2010 Octoberish. Um, and they found against me. So I didn't know I could appeal. It's a full bench. I mean, these are serious guys. Until 2011 March, uh, one of the uh, friends of mine said, You can appeal. That's when I started to appeal them. I threw, I put in the appeal in Bloemfontein, and then uh, I also asked for condemnation for late appeal. Bloemfontein, they condoned me, uh, uh, just Mukwe, they condoned me for late appeal, but they said that they don't accept my appeal. So for that reason, that's how I went. There's a case number done by Musa Atenis, who are acting. I don't think they'll still work for me. I don't pay, the, I don't have money because Zuma doesn't allow me as a civil servant to have money to stop corruption because Zuma, I hear he's got a nephew who's suddenly from a taxi driver, they, they tell me. He's now, a, you know, he's having a lot of companies. He owns, I don't know, billionaires, whatever. So it's a family thing. Uh, so. So Zuma doesn't want me to talk about this thing because he thinks Mandela is God. Mandela is just like another fellow like me and you. He just happens to be a bit older and as an African I need to respect Mandela. But Mandela is not my God. I have my God who is in heaven. I'm ready to die and meet my God. I'm ready to, do, to go to prison, to be poisoned in prison. That's fine. But I'm not going to accept South Africa to be ruled by tribalism from the Eastern Cape of Mr. Mandela. Particularly where Mr. Del the Royal House, where Mr. Della comes from. All relatives who matter. They are there in government. The likes of Mrs. Uh, Templeton, Temba, um, Matanzima, relatives of Mandela. They are left and right. They are harassing us because we must respect those of Mandela. Mandela is not the founder of the ANC. Justice Mukwe, I need your help. All I'm asking of you, in short, is that please combine my cases, make them one case. Because as of now, this is February, and um, I heard, I got an email from my lawyer. Uh, they say, okay, matters between a lawyer and a client. And not to be discussed, but I will say that there's an urgent case you must attend to. How would I attend to an urgent case when there's no money to prosecute my cases? Please, Justin Mukwe, help me. If you do help me, it's going to be South Africa's miracle. I don't expect you to be able to, because you are appointed by the man who is fighting me, Mr. Jacob Zuma. But as justice, remember one thing, you are put there for the law. Fear, favor are not part of your psyche, Justin Mukwe. So I believe. But I accept you're also human. Maybe you won't be able to. So I'm just relaxed here. Um, I'm waiting for uh, my God to show me there are miracles in South Africa. This is the land, the original land of Zion. King David called his city for God. He called it Zion. It could have been Solomon. But the Zion, the king of the Jews, remember that Zion comes from what we call today South Africa. The original Zion is here because that's where the Jews come from. You can do genetic testing of all the graves of the heroes of Israel. You'll find nobody who's closer to them, nobody in current day Israel, but you'll find them in South Africa. So I'm in the land, I'm in the Holy Land. Doesn't matter people think this is a land for fornicators and adulterers, but I believe in South Africa, I believe in humanity. I'm not a racist, I'm not a tribalist, but I will fight tribalism. I'll fight racism again. Just this was for you. And I doffed my head, I removed it out of respect. So I don't want to be long. The other videos I've done where I talk about my life, where I am, I'd like to end it. The sun is setting. 
and I'd like to end here. But there's a gentleman who's here with me. He may be interested in questions. If he's not gonna ask questions, I'll be the gladder for it. But I'd like to end this. Justin Huen, I am begging you, I plead. Justice, assist me. Don't assist me, I'm in jail. I'm dead. But I'm so glad that uh, my maker has given me this chance to put this thing on YouTube. I'm grateful on YouTube. I'm grateful on the internet. I'm grateful on technology. Because in the past, nobody would hear me. So I'm quite grateful. Um, but I'm, I'm also ready for reconciliation. There's a way that Mr. Zuma will wake up from his stupor, you know, of following tribalism. You know, because Mandela, he calls him father of the nation. He's not the father. Who said he's the father? Where is Pig Sticker Isaka same that Morocco started the ANC in 1912? So I don't want to go there. I'm talking here to justice. I want to end it there. Please tie the stories together. Mandela, or rather, Mr. Zuma has charged me. Uh, also, for there's a new charge that came in uh, December last year, the 12th. I was told that he ordered it. Told the media I must be charged for, uh, you know, blogging, for telling him about the corruption. Because I wrote letters. He ignored. So I decided to put this thing online because Mr. Zuma is a civil servant. He only happens to be the most senior one to make the taxpayers know. Then I've got charges now. I must go to the security department where I work to answer charges. I know what's going to happen to me, but I'm ready for jail. I'd like to end the end. Justice. Thank you. All right, what do you do now? Do you prefer to go to jail or not? Anything. I'm ready for anything. But how can. As I suppose, I do think people who are supposed to go to jail, they have committed crime. Do you think there is crime against I you? I didn't commit crime. My crime is that there are families in South Africa who we must think they are God. And I don't know, I've got only one God. My God is in heaven. There is no God who's called Nelson Mandela in my life. Now, how can you prepare yourself to go to jail while they didn't commit yes, anything? Because Mrs. Zuma is the most powerful a human being in South Africa. He wants to send me there in order to save Mandela's family. Uh, so I'll go there because he's got power. But he, man, Mr. Zuma doesn't have power over my God. But for what good or bad reason am I supposed to send you to, to jail? Look, there are many reports you can read anywhere where Mr. Zuma is supposed to be fond of adultery. But are you hold doing... on, hold on. Now, if he thinks adultery is a normal thing, and I've heard stories that he thinks that's being Zulu, which is an insult to Shaka Zulu. Shaka Zulu used to kill adulterers. Mr. Zuma should know better. Oh, sorry, he went only to grade four at school, I'm told. But the point is this, Shaka Zulu killed adulterers. So, if he happens to think that um, to be Zulu is to go about fornicating or whatever, commit adultery, that is why he's victimized me over the issue of Tobisana Bobelo City, because he thinks I'm crazy. But I'm not crazy. I'm, I'm coming from a holy land. The origin of humankind is in South Africa, and uh, I must stand for what is holy. But now, I can't understand. Tell me, what's your question? The reason why a person is supposed to go to jail is a, is a guy who, who have committed something yeah, like crime. Politics. 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 Yeah, politi politics means when you speak, you must speak the kind of language that the people who rule the country, like Mrs. Zuma, like. So I, my, what I talk Mizu doesn't like. Politics means you can go to jail even for kicking a dog. If you kick the dog of the of, of, of head of state, then the father will go to jail because uh, the dog uh, may not be maybe among the laws that uh, cost you to go to jail, but because the dog belongs to the president. Right? It's stupid, okay? It's stupid, but that's what's happening to me. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm appealing to uh, Justice Mukwege to assist me. You know what? I want to record another video quick about tribalism. All right. So, but uh, ask your last question then. But what I know and what I realized before, what do you say? You talk about your rights, your human rights. Yeah. No, why are you supposed to go to jail? Because you're talking about your human rights. Yeah, they want to silence me. Look, I'm a victim of human rights for a long time. In exile, there's a, there's a, uh, I've done a video here about my victimization. So I've, I'm also, there's a guy called, uh, okay, he's a man of the, what do they call it, cloth, or whatever. But he's a man of God, called Tutu. He was heading the commission. I'm there as a victim of human rights abuse because they called my wife who's born in Tanzania as a query query. So I don't want to load uh, Justice Bukhoi with all those details. I want us to end it there. Uh, let's do another video about tribalism quickly before the sun sets. Alright, thanks a lot. Stop it. Press it.